Hey everyone, and welcome to Organizational Leadership 3000, Learning Module 3, The Self as Learner. During this part of the course, we're going to be taking a look at a three-phase model for adult development in terms of how we see ourselves as parts of teams or as leaders. This particular theoretical model comes from Keegan and Leahy. They're describing a developmental process, and if you look at their process, it's kind of like you can analyze it in terms of what it is to be a leader. If you're starting out as having a socialized mind, some of the main things that will end up being of value to you are being a team player and being a faithful follower of those who are authority figures in your life. We can all probably identify with this. There's a lot of times on the job where you end up having to basically show your loyalty or show that you are not going to question what your boss wants you to do. In the second phase, you're taking a look at the idea of yourself as a self-authoring mind trying to find your own compass and find your own way of becoming independent on the job, being able to think through a problem for yourself and solve it yourself. At that point you can imagine someone in a work situation being applauded by their boss for having handled a problem on their own without having to ask someone else for help. And the final phase is the self-transforming mind phase, where someone becomes a strong leader and is able to have multiple frameworks or multiple theories in mind about how different people in a complex organization will have different vested interests. So for the sake of our class, we're trying to make sure that everyone can analyze themselves in that first phase of the socialized mind trying to understand where those values of being a team player are coming from and whether or not they are always positive or negative. In this particular learning module you have to complete an assignment tool that's a self-analysis and when you're doing your self-analysis make sure that you are planning it using some of these frameworks that we've looked at during the course. Of course Keegan and Leahy will be important. You could also be referring to Cole. You could also be referring to Marino. Make sure that you are considering how your work experience or how your volunteer experience may reflect some of those concepts, like being a team player, whether or not you felt that you had to become a leader, whether or not it was being valued if you were being a leader. Remember to keep in mind those course learning outcomes that we've discussed before, describing your past experiences, analyzing past events, and your feelings about those events summarizing the actions and feelings that were a part of your past learning process, making sure that you are recording those events coherently in solid written work, and discussing situations using those conceptual frameworks, using explicit reference to people like Keegan, Leahy, Kolb, Fiddler, Marino, as you are doing your writing. Now in the Keegan and Leahy model, they also discuss three phases, shifting your own beliefs and ideas, to gradually stepping back and looking at your beliefs in broader context, and then finally being able to see limitations in your own belief system and acknowledge values in other people's ideas. As you're looking at this process, there's a couple of different models that we can mention. Keegan and Leahy have this three-phase model from the socialized mind to the self-authoring mind to the self-transforming mind. In our class, we're focused on the top part of this diagram, the socialized mind. As you progress to Organizational Leadership 3050, you'll be in the self-authoring mind, and Organizational Leadership 4000 is the self-transforming mind. So consider looking at that top box, the socialized mind. We are being shaped by definitions and expectations in our interpersonal environment. We are trying to align with and be loyal to those who are authority figures, those who we are identifying with. And this ends up expressing itself in our relationships with people and in how we learn new things. Here's another diagram from Keegan and Leahy that is really kind of an interesting idea. What they're saying in this diagram is that you can look at your thinking mind, yourself, as both a subject and an object. In other words, you are a thinking subject, as in the subject of a sentence, like the I and I think that or I believe that. You can also see yourself as an object, so the way that you think about the world, you can step back from yourself and analyze yourself. You can study yourself as a thinker. So that's kind of an interesting idea, that you can be both a subject and an object. And in the phase of the socialized mind, we're considering the kinds of abstractions, values, and beliefs that we hold dear, and then we're trying to think about how that turns into concrete actualities about our own circumstances and the goals that we're trying to achieve. 
Now in the assignment tool, please keep in mind the questions that you see on this slide as you are doing your assignment tool paper write-up. What early experiences may have shaped your beliefs? When your beliefs have changed, why did that happen? What traditions and values do you hold on to as you enter new learning experiences? Do you have any regrets about how you may have handled past learning experiences? Are you now aware of any limitations that you may have had before? Do I learn the same way that most people do? Or do you have certain characteristics, certain traits that may make certain kinds of learning a bit of a challenge for you? So the idea here is that you're stepping back and doing a self-analysis. As people working on degrees in organizational leadership, you want to make sure that you are clear about your own characteristics as you are completing your degree. Next up, also remember that you should go back into the posting and responses discussion that you did during the last learning module. Keep that discussion going and talk with other people in class about how their work has been going. Discuss everybody's learning experiences and learn from each other's past learning experiences. So remember the main emphasis for this learning module is your assignment tool self-analysis and continuing on your discussions. Thanks so much and thanks for taking the class.